Finally, around this side here, you'll see this addition. This right here is an extra piece. Now these things, they print uh, flat, right? So when you're printing a base, it's going to print flat. And this is a piece that can't print, um, you know, you can't print it on here in one piece. Um, maybe somebody will figure out something, but um, with the geometry that we have, uh, that's impossible to, to print this, you know, here like that. So this is the Z end stop holder and we call it the Zest Z end stop. And this little guy, I'll show you how to put this together and how this how this works, but it just you got plenty of rod and so you really just kind of bolt that on the end down here. You can see it's just an extension. Of your base that bolts on. Now, just to show you how this goes on, I'll just show you a finer point here. So, when you get yours, this is just for demonstration. We were, you know, demoing this. So, uh, the orientation, I put a little dot to remind me, the orientation of the switch needs to be like this. And I'm going to put, just like this example, I'm going to put this. I hope this is all in focus. It might not be. Go down here. So that's going to go through like that. Whoops, I missed it. Now these, this is tight, uh, depending on your zip ties. Sometimes this is a little tight, but it'll work. So we're trying to just keep this really simple, so we're just zip tying this on. Okay, get that nice and tight. Cut that off. And then you've got your end stop. That'll sneak on to the back. This is actually the back. Um, that'll sneak on there. And just for get on there. Get your wires out of the way. There it goes. The new parts sometimes have to be cleaned out, like I mentioned. So you might want to zing this around here. I didn't do that. So tighten that on. And don't go crazy. These plastic parts, if you crank them down, they will break. So now we've got our end stop. And that happens to be the exact right place for the next section uh, that we're going to do uh, the upper assembly. All right. So that's the new end stop. And what's cool is um, that part, I'll post it online. Um, it is a retrofit for you guys that don't have your end stop figured out. Or if you did something else, this is probably a little cleaner. We've done it half a dozen ways, and, and this is really a good way to do it. So that's the new stop there. So that kind of brings us up uh, with the changes on the, the base assembly. With uh, oh, I just thought of one other thing. We're also shipping a couple little laser cut pieces. And what that is for is for this beautiful printer board and uh, it's pretty simple so I'm not even going to show you how to do it they are two pieces um, they're like this you zip tie them on here and here to the the top rod it's upside down so that when you go to plug in your um, electronics it's kinda tight in here but uh, you'll have room to get everything tucked in here and you'll bundle up your cabling and zip tie that uh, you can get your electronics plugged in here and it will be nice and nice uh, nice and compact and small I mean you really couldn't get it much smaller than this now we have you'll notice um, we have put a few screws through here we've got it's interesting um, we've got three holes on the printer board that will accept a uh, you might be able to see it here. Um, these two will accept a 632 half inch screw and you can screw that right into the wood and it'll be nice and tight. Um, this will also, ex this one, I don't even have one on this one, but it will accept um, a screw. It's a little hard to reach so you, you're probably going to want to put, um, you're going to want to fix these 
wood pieces to the the printer board first and then you're going to want to zip tie it down so that'd be the right order over here we've got an m3 nut i don't even know if you can see it but that m3 nut for whatever reason the um, electronics has one hole back here uh, you got x y z e over by e the extruder driver um, it's smaller and it won't fit a 632 screw so you'll have to use an M3 on that one. So you could also use uh, zip ties on these if you want to. Um, it will be a little loose, but once you get these on, it should be nice and tight. You can crimp those down. And if you ever need to pull it off, just snip, snip, snip. And uh, there you go. So those are the improvements to the board. Uh, I mean, to the, the base. Um, I think that pretty much covers that. So before we move on, I'm going to show you another couple new parts, and then we're going to get on with another build video. Put this aside. So in addition to the, uh, you might have noticed that this base example that I show it has this is not symmetrical anymore. You know, this is one side, this is another. Um, the outside is this way, the inside is this way. And we've added this little section here to accommodate an end stop. So, and I put a little dot to show me which side this orients to. So it goes on like this. Now this, actually, uh, this model, oops. Here we go. This actually already has it on there. Um, you might be able to see it here. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. But we already have it mounted here, but I wanted to show it to you without anything obstructing your view. So how you affix this is the same way. We'll do a zip tie. I'm going to go through the top. There's a hole. This relief on the bottom is just to save a little print time and I don't, I don't know if it even saves any time but that's what we did. I'm trying to use as little plastic as possible. There you go. You can kind of cinch this up tight before you even send it through there and tighten it down. So you got an end stop. This is a junk part, by the way. Some of the holes were too big. But I grabbed it out of our seconds bin so I could show you that. So now we've got a, this is actually, as it faces me, the bed is sliding. And there's a new part, uh, fairly new, here. Again, something you could totally retrofit. Um, where is it? Okay, it's this black guy here. Um, this guy, I'm a mess. All right, so how this works is you've got, this is a special, this one happens to be black, the others are white. All of them used to be symmetrical, but we thought, man, you know what, it'd be nice to have an adjustable X, Y, and Z end stop. So there's now a bolt hole for a 632 screw. You could use a one inch, you could use a three quarter, you could use something really long. This is just what I had rolling around. So what that does is allows you to dial in. This is really nice because when you get your bed there, um, you know, as all of these bots, when they go together, there's a little variance. So this allows you when it, when it comes down and hits, it trips that. See, so you could adjust it very, very finely for depth. So your, your nozzle hits right where you need it to hit. You can move it forward or backwards. So, okay, so now that's all of the <laughs> changes on the base. Forgot that one. So that's a nice addition. You can print off a new one if you've already got one, and it'll fit right on there. Um, there is even a, uh, we've even invented a little, a little thing right here to retrofit old ones. You know what? You're, if you can be patient for a second, I'm going to run back and get one. All right. So I'm going to even post these because some people are like, ah, thanks for changing it after I got mine together. Well, we even did a retrofit part um, for this. And it's kind of cool. Because just to illustrate how this would work, on the inside here, uh, you have a choice to put your motor on this side 
or the left or the right. And so if you put your motors on the right, you can always move it over to the right, you have to flip your board. Um, but if you put it over on the right, let's just imagine for a second uh, how this fits. You will have this side free without a motor mounted here. And if there's not a motor mounted here, you can use that bolt hole right there to bolt this new piece to, and I'll just show you on the mirrored side. Um, again, this is going to go over there, not here, but I'll show you how it works. So you just got one bolt, you uh, bolt it up right there, I think that's right, yeah, under here, and uh, here's my train again. <laughs> So there's a little ridge right here, and that keeps this this thing from uh, you know wobbling. So when you zip tie that down right there, it hits that ridge, and it holds that end stop in place. So even if you have an old base, um, you'll be able to retrofit that part right there. I'll load that up on Thingiverse as well, and you'll be able to get a nice neat end stop as it was uh, should have been done in the first place right there. So that's the base with the new Y end stop holder or the retrofit, okay?